you're joining us at the IFX Expo Cyprus. We're here in collaboration with Forex Magnate and IFX Expo. Joining me in the booth now is Ibrahim Ata of CM Trading. Ibrahim, thank you very much for coming in. Now, first things first, what makes CM Trading different? How do you position yourself amongst your competitors? Basically, our uh, unique approach at CM Trading is basically instituted in, uh, in the offline marketing and uh, business development side of things. We basically don't do marketing almost. Uh, we do partnerships uh, and IB uh, and white label, multi-level uh, uh, network. <clears throat> That's basically our field of expertise. When the whole market uh, go and compete uh, in uh, uh, optimizing uh, media buying and uh, online marketing, <clears throat> we go against the wind and basically uh, 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 offer a uh, tailor-made partnerships uh, with uh, different partners <clears throat> all over the world. Uh, uh, that makes uh, us basically uh, uh, investing most of our resources in support, support and again support <coughs> of our partners and the uh, end users, uh, 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 customers. Looking back then over the last year, how has your company evolved? What were the main challenges? And similarly looking ahead 2013, 2014, what challenges do you still have to face? That's very interesting actually, because uh, literally uh, these days we're celebrating one year of activity. So happy days, yeah. Uh, so what makes it uh, pretty obvious that the uh, initial few months uh, of our activity was basically, the, the, I mean the biggest challenge for the initial few months uh, was basically to put the uh, business on the right track. Uh, and to build the CM Trading uh, brand to be uh, well known for our support and uh, fully uh, transparency with customers and uh, uh, our partners. Um, and to be frank with you, we were amazed of the uh, uh, results because um, customers and partners were repaying us heavily by bringing in confidently um, uh, business largely to grow faster than the average startup. So. Uh, what makes, it, uh, uh, what makes our challenge for the next uh, uh, year or so still, first of all, uh, 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 building our uh, uh, brand and definitely uh, support and expanding in different jurisdictions. What then are your views on transparency within the FX world? Are we moving towards an exchange model? Will all brokers be ESN with one data feed? Or will we be sticking with the OTC model? And if so, then, then why? Transparency, I have to say, is um, a must attribute in financial world. <clears throat> That's obvious. Unfortunately, it's uh, not quite implemented in the retail, mainly retail FX markets. <clears throat> for, I think for mainly two reasons. One, uh, for brokers to participate in this industry, uh, 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 it's, uh, I mean, the, the, the requirements are very, very facilitated, technical-wise, yeah? Uh, are very, very facilitated and in hand for everyone, everyone um, uh, with little investment uh, to take part in this um, uh, industry. What open doors for uh, controversial uh, parties to take part as well with lack of experience, uh, discipline and obviously transparency. Two, uh, the lack of uh, experience and understanding of the retail market of some regulators doesn't in particular make, that, make transparency mainly pretty much supported and obviously adhered. <clears throat> Eventually this situation must change and I believe will be changed. <clears throat> If it was my call, the whole industry will be moving to um, the exchange model. Or at least, and this is just an idea, <clears throat> the only market makers uh, uh, operating in this industry will be just top tier banks or brand brokers, while all the retail uh, uh, brokers will be 100% ECN, full STP uh, 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 model. This at least, I believe, will guarantee that none of the players, none of the participants in this industry will be involved in any kind of conflict of interest. We're talking about two levels. <clears throat> Top tier banks offsetting and hedging uh, uh, risk with each other. 
while they can do business with any retail uh, 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 customers, retail customers can do business only with e full ECN um, uh, uh, brokers and ECN brokers uh, with uh, banks. Everybody uh, is happy, so and definitely this structure can guarantee that the, the brokers and all the participants in the, in the market will strive for what? For service, for support, for transparency, for uh, proficiency, you name it. Looking to future strategy then, new products, new geographical expansion? That's obvious. Uh, I mean, uh, we keep um, expanding and we keep uh, adding products, either financial products or, um, uh, you know, uh, trading features. Uh, when it comes to uh, uh, financial products, uh, uh, so far we have uh, a bit more than uh, 50 uh, FX spurs. Uh, and uh, a little bit under uh, 40 uh, CFDs. Uh, when it comes to uh, trading features, uh, we keep adding uh, either the technical and online technical uh, analysis and charting, uh, online uh, blog and uh, 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 mobile and web trader. We had uh, a new, uh, uh, what you call it, copycat uh, 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 trader and much more. Uh, uh, in regards to uh, the uh, JO expansion, <coughs> Uh, right now, we are actually uh, uh, um, uh, targeting South America uh, 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 countries. Uh, we had our own connection uh, and network uh, there, which we, we will leverage uh, uh, and uh, target uh, customers and partners uh, from there. I believe we will be successful uh, there, much like we did with uh, Africa, um, uh, Easter, uh, uh, East Europe, and a bit in, uh, in, uh, in Asia. So, yeah, it's challenging, it's pretty hard work, but I really, really persist. And lastly, what are the best trading conditions that you can offer to your clients? Uh, mentioning uh, transparency and being fully transparent with customers doesn't in particular mean that we are less competitive. <clears throat> we still can offer customers, um, uh, for example, uh, a tight, a tight spread of as little as, uh, or as low as 1.7 euro dollar, uh, and still guarantee um, uh, no requotes whatsoever, uh, free of uh, uh, commission. Uh, for a very simple reason, we, we implement the 100% uh, market execution, what guarantee and actually we strive to reach the best execution possible for our customers, even with positive slippage. This is very exciting for, uh, for customers and they find that uh, uh, very beneficial uh, for them and uh, without any shadow of a doubt, fully transparent. Ibrahim, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. That's all for now, but click back for more exclusive interviews with brokers here from the IFX Expo Cyprus. Goodbye for now.